Is it hot? It's so hot. We came to Al Diwaniya province to film the story of Sheikh Kazim Al Kaabi, a farmer whose area has been badly affected by climate change and extreme heat. Filming this scene, I couldn't believe the temperature I was recording. The ground temperature was upwards of 60 degrees. It was like breathing in a sauna. You feel trapped. والله هذا القعر مو هذا الحارات تشوف هاي الخيمة هاي وإحنا جواها بيناتنا وبينا بس الخيط هذا لأن إحنا من كان الماء موجود نزرع نزرع مختلف المحاصيل. This year has been a very bad year for them. They've been farming. Unfortunately for them, it didn't turn out to be a very good year. And as a result, a lot of people are trying to migrate from this place. But it's a really tough condition to work. I don't think I've never, never worked or witnessed 55 degrees. Even for me as an Iraqi that I'm used to the high temperatures, <laughs> this is just too much. I grew up in Iraq, so I thought I was prepared. But in recent years, the weather has changed a lot. It's hot. Hey, uh... The camera is asking me to stop recording. Okay. <laughs> I think you, you need to put it in the car. Yeah. Yeah, but the camera needs. Are you leave it here? Uh -huh. okay. Every 15 minutes, we had to cool the camera down. If we didn't, we run the risk of losing all our footage. Just two minutes. Two minutes. Huh? See the people. Filming in uh, peak summer is always complicated and difficult. Garmi bardas ni hoti. Kitna garmi hai? Garmi. As a filmmaker, to stay calm and to stay focused when it's that hot and you're drenched in your own sweat, then when you add temperatures that are upward of 45 degrees to it, it gets that much harder. Seguridad pública como nosotros no hubiéramos llegado, esa persona probablemente haya fallecido. En junio, we traveled to Mexicali, in northern Mexico, to film a record-breaking heat wave. We were following a team of paramedics. There was a heat stroke patient who had to be taken to hospital. While filming, I heard lots of raised voices behind me. Suddenly, I saw Gabriel. Our producer been surrounded by medical staff. Oh, you okay? Yeah, but the doctor just said to say. Is it true, radiation? Yeah, no. Doctor, can you tell me just? No, 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 no. How did you spot that he's not? Because when he spoke, the language was pegaba and the palabras. I tried to make sure that the eyes were dry and wounded. Even though we'd taken lots of precautions, like limiting our time on the ground, drinking lots of water, the heat really had affected the crew. Thankfully, Gabriel got the treatment he needed. He was back on his feet a few hours later. We were lucky to have been embedded with the paramedics. It's okay, just keep filming. Yeah, yeah, it's good to keep filming. Mexicali is right by the border with the US. Many migrants pass through this desert as they attempt to cross the border. It's extremely hot here, it's 50 plus. And no wonder lots of uh, migrants die uh, along this way, trying to cross the border to the US. Uh, I mean, there is no way without enough resources to keep themselves hydrated, they will survive this, this heat. Seeing this place brought back my own experience of when I left Iraq 
for the UK on foot. My journey across the border was very tough, but I can't imagine making that journey in 50 degrees. A few hours without water, there is no way you would survive. And yet, every day here, people attempt it. In this series, we met some amazing people who let us into their lives and shared the challenges they face against heat and the climate crisis. This is a threat we are all going to face. The planet is only going to get hotter.